Hey everyone, it's Monica, and welcome back to Artsy Bits, my channel where you know there will be creativity, but you don't know exactly what the creativity will be. Today I am swatching some new colored pencils, they're new to me, and doing a little quick sketch of this cow with them, so watch till the end if you want to see this little guy come to life here. But basically, these are new to me, and I'm going to be trying them out in my mixed media sketchbook here. Now this is the one that I created the cover for in a separate video. You can look that one up on this channel and see how I created that collage. But this is kind of where I'm enjoying doing some sketching and some swatching of new to me art supplies. So again, these are the Prisma Color Premier Coal Erase colored pencils. And basically they're an erasable colored pencil. They claim to be really great for illustrating and things like that. So I'm going to put that to the test today. But the first thing I notice is that they actually are not sharpened. So we're going to take care of that really quick and go ahead and sharpen them. You guys, this is my favorite pencil sharpener ever. It's the Boss Ditch Quiet Sharp 6. It does such a great job. A different YouTuber artist recommended it on one of her videos and I went and checked it out, got it, have not regretted it. It's linked in the description box below, as are these pencils, as are all the supplies that I use. If you want to read up some more details on them, feel free. And what I did was just sketched out some quick rectangles here to test these colors, went through, labeled them all so that I can keep track as I'm swatching. And we're going to just hop right in and I'm going to start using them. I'm going to share some thoughts that I have on these pencils. Since the filming of this video, I've had more of a chance to use them. So initially while I was swatching these, I was thinking I need to be really careful when I'm sharing my opinion because I haven't used them yet, but I've actually used them now a bit more. And I do have some feedback. So I do want to share a little bit of my past with colored pencils. I am a big fan of the Faber-Castell Polychromos. Those are my favorite and I know the price point is kind of high and they were a gift and I'm so thankful for them every time I use them because they're amazing. I haven't ever really loved the traditional Prismacolor pencils, colored pencils. And maybe someone can explain to me in the comments, what am I missing? But I really love the Faber-Castell Polychromos when compared to them. So I am approaching this review of the Prismacolor Premier Cola Race pencils with a little bit of skepticism, but I am not really looking to use these so much for coloring as I am for outlining and sketching things on the page. I love this idea of sketching things in a color instead of a gray pencil and sketching them in the color of what they might turn out to be in the end. It just makes your pencil marks kind of disappear. Now, does anyone else ever have a color that they just become so fascinated with they have to have it? That's how I felt about this purple. I kept seeing it online advertised and I was like, oh man, I got to have that color. I love that color. <laughs> and I do love it. It's a great color. And I do love the selection of colors here. I feel like it's a little heavy on the browns and greens a little bit, but you know, that's okay. I feel like it's not going to be a big deal. Again, little little spot of sunlight there on my page. Please excuse it. I did close the curtain later, but we're going to watch the little sunlight there grow. And this is me just testing out the eraser on the swatches and seeing how it's going. And the eraser does erase most of it. It gets kind of smudgy. It's not perfect, but I'm excited. I think it'll work really well for what I want to use it for, which is actually outlining. But today I thought I would do both. I thought I would go ahead and use it to sketch and also to color in a little sketch of this cute cow. Now this, I believe, is a calf. It's a young cow. It's not a full-grown cow. But I just thought it was really cute, and I thought it was really kind of a fun study in some shadows and some light for the brown color on it. It's not really solid, obviously, as things in real life rarely are. And so I was just using these pencils to see how it went. Now, as you continue watching, consider giving this video a thumbs up if you find yourself enjoying it. Leave comments and questions below, like I said, and do be sure you've subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future Artsy Bits uploads. A couple videos from now, you're going to see this cow again, but he's going to be a very unnatural color. 
and he's going to be created not using these colored pencils but using some gouache so if that is something that interests you be sure you are subscribed and most importantly i hope that you jump into the creative world and create some artsy bits of your own Watch to the end and I'll link other videos of mine as well as my other channel where I create artsy bits in my Bible. Yes, indeed, art in my Bible. Join in the fun. And thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoy this process. Now, one thing I do want to mention along the way here, and especially toward the end of this sketch, is I very much struggled trying to get a very dark color in the darkest places of the cow here. And maybe I layered too heavily in the beginning and wasn't able to darken it up. Maybe it's the pencils. I wanted to really hold out and stick with just using these pencils the entire time on this sketch. But I do want to bring that up just as a quick note that I didn't find these to be super, super dark or to have a really great color payoff. I did end up having some fun though going in with an eraser at the end to add some cool highlights and that's kind of a sweet function of these pencils because they're erasable you can go in and erase and on his face there uh, I was able to add some nice highlights to the shiniest parts of his fur. I added a background in here but didn't want to spend too much time on it. I was really just kind of getting to know these colored pencils and have some fun with them. Thank you again so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end here, go ahead and type the words brown cow in the comment section below so I know you watched to the end. And I hope that you stay artsy and have a great rest of your day. Again, watch to the end screen and you'll see some links for more videos, my other channel, this channel, and just some fun stuff to keep you informed. Enjoy.